Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, people. Can you hear me? Good evening, Miss. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, it's good to see you after a weekend. Welcome to the English class. I'm going to share with you the class presentation for this evening. And this evening, we are going to have, as you can see, the oral presentations about your autobiography. Your biography. And this is the class number 17. So, in this session, you will be able to demonstrate your speaking skills in an oral presentation about your life. Are you ready? Yes, I am. That's great. So we have only three activities. The first one is calling to use knowledge. Then we have activity two, practicing speaking. And activity three, round five. Okay. So I am excited to listen to all of you. So in this moment, I'm going to start by taking the attendance. Remember that this class is very important. You need, those minutes are very important. Okay. Oh, um, we have Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Is she connected? Ana Marisol? Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanche? I am here, teacher. Thank you, Ana Patricia. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. Brenda Adriana Méndez. Present me. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Brian Steve Rodas Hernández. Brian Steve, Claudia Isel López Córdoba, Daniela Magali Asensio, Edgar Fernando Portillo, Elisa Aralí López, Present Miss. Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús Martínez. Elsie. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Francisco, ¿es Francisco? No, right. Okay. Griselda Lizeth Moreno de Bonilla. Present teacher, este, ahí en el grupo escribió Elsie Patricia que al parecer no tenía energía eléctrica. Thank you. Oh, yes. I left my cell phone. I will look for it. Thank you. Jacqueline Viviana Enriquez Cruz. Janet Carolina eh, Rivera. Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara López Rivera. ¿Cómo dijo teacher? Karen Xiomara. Ah, teacher. <laughs> Karina Yasmin Nuila. Karina. No present. Ok. Mm, Carla Melisa Colocho Santos. I'm here. Thank you, Carla Melisa. Leslie Natalie Orellana Hernández. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lucía yeah. Elena Cepeda de Herrera. Present, teacher. Marga Thank you. Margarita Abigail Tobía. Present, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada Lara. Miley Yamile Alvarenga. 
present, Miss. Okay, my good evening, Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Hello, teacher present. Hello, Michelle. Roberto Carlos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo. How you doing, teacher? Present. Okay, nice. Selma Peña, Florence. I'm here. Okay, Selma, thanks. Victoria Ingrid, Lean de Contreras. Present. Okay, I'm going to mention the names of the people absent because I can see some of you have just connected. Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Benjamin Alejandro Quijal. I'm here, teacher. Okay. I'm sorry for coming late. Don't worry. Brenda Castro. Brian C. Claudia Isel López. Daniela Magali Asensio. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Elsie de Jesús. Francisco Alexander. Vía Fuente. Present teacher. Jacqueline Enrique. Ok, Brian. Jacqueline. Ok. In the chat, Jacqueline and Brian. Okay. Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Janet. And Martin Estrada. Oh. Hi, teacher. Okay, Martin. Thank you. And Karina Nuila. Karina Jasmine Nuila. She's not present. Ya está Edgar Fernando también. Ok. Oh, remember that these classes were important for your attendance. Mm -hmm. Like on Friday, March 17th, if you were not present in the class, you have the opportunity to be present today and um, gain those minutes that you need, right? for the attendance. Okay, so as I told you at the beginning of the class, I'm very excited because today you are going to demonstrate your speaking skills. Okay, before we start, we are going to begin with the following previous knowledge. I have here um, an exercise. It's a very easy exercise in which you will practice, uh, you will practice simple past and also simple, pre uh, sorry, present perfect. It's a topic you studied in the previous module, I guess. So um, you will have the opportunity. So the, the activity is called, who are they? They are famous people, you know them. So you will complete the information using the simple past or the present perfect of the verb in brackets. Then you will match the description to the correct picture. So let's start with the first. He was born in Argentina. Uh -huh. What is the correct form of the verb that I have to use here? Playing. Remember, you can choose either simple past or present perfect. Let's see. Late. Late, exactly. That's correct. Late. He late. Sorry, played for the FC Barcelona or FC Barcelona Football Club Barcelona. He is correct. Okay. So far, he has a score. Very nice. So he has a score. He has a score. We use the present perfect because he is still 
scoring goals, right? He's still a soccer player. And so the counting continues. So he has scored 603 goals. Okay. Now next he He was helping people in need. Okay. Oh, Remember the present perfect? You use the verb have or had, and then the verb in the past participle. So he has helped people in need. And the next one, he won. He has. He has won. He has won. He has won six ballon d'or, right? He has won six so far. Now, who is this person then? Pique. Eh, eh, Messi. Oh, Messi. No, Lionel Messi. He is Argentinian, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, very nice. Good. Uh, next one. He was born in the USA. He... He has he is he married. Has. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. He's married. He has. Mm. Let's see. You can use simple part or you can use present perfect. Is present. Present perfect or simple past? Simple past is an action. It's an action finish in the past. An action finish in the past. And it finished in the past and it doesn't continue to the present. It doesn't continue to the present. I mean, something you did in the past. For example, I... I played football yesterday. I got married in 2021. I graduated as a teacher in 2014. He got. But in this case, if the verb is Mary, <laughs> no, because then we have the name of the person. So in this case is married. He married el desposo o se casó con Melinda French in 1994. He married Melinda French in 1994. Or he got married in 1994. But in this case, he married. If we had here the verb get married, but in this case, we have the verb marry. Next, he... Founded. He founded the Founded. largest software business. Since 2008, he spent it. Spend. Well, wow. spending his time. We have here something that will help us to identify if it's simple past or present perfect. We have the word. Since we use since when we use since or we use for, we use the present perfect because uh, the action continues. Desde el 2008, el spent. He has spent. El a dedicado su tiempo en una fundación de caridad. Since 2008, he has spent his time in his charity foundation. Why? Because he continues, he continues with the action to the present. He started in the past, continues to the present. Okay? Now we have, who is this person? Bill Gates. Okay. Bill Gates, right? Okay. The man with the glasses, Bill Gates. She was born in 1986 as Stephanie Joan Angelina Germanota. 
she sell it. Yes. Sell it. Well, she, sell, she has sell it. Sell is an irregular word. She has sell it. She has she has sell it. Say it. Say it. Look for the past the past tense of sell. Do you have a list of verbs in the past? Sell is irregular verb. What is the past of sell? Sorry? Sold. Exactly. The past of sell is she has sold. She has sold because she is still alive, right? Or not? Yeah, she's still alive. So she has sold 27 million albums. She she has, has won. She has won. She has won. 11 Grammy Awards. And she, she has started. started. The action continues or is something she did in the past? She starred. She starred. She starred in the movie A Star Is Born. She was the protagonist. So she starred in the movie A Star Is Born. Okay? It's something she did in the past. And that's it. They, they did the movie, they made the movie, and that's all. Okay? But she is still an artist, so she can continue uh, selling albums and winning Grammy Awards. Who is this person? Stephanie Joan Angelina Germanotta. That's her real name. What is her artistical name? Lady Gaga. Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga, yes. I, I <laughs> yeah, it's all right, the poker face. <laughs> Okay, and the last, she was born in Colombia in 1997. I think this is not correct to say. Yeah, she's, she wasn't born in 1997, 87 or 77. Okay, she married. married. Exactly, she married and now divorced. <laughs> Just kidding. She married became in 2011. She she lived since Live 2011. Since 2011. Yes. So she, she has lived. lived. She has lived because she's still living there. She has lived in Spain yeah. 2011. In 2003, she. In 2003, she became exactly the past of become is became. She became UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador. In 2020, she found she sang. She sang. It's something she did in the past. Only one. She sang with Jay Love in the Super Bowl. Right? People, you need to practice the past tense of the verbs. So in vacation, you can study the past tense of the verbs because you need to. Okay, excellent, look. Oh, he played, okay, maybe he has played. But he now, play. yeah, maybe when, he, when they did this, he was still a But now he's not, right? Guys, Messi is not as as that. I'm not into I'm into sports too much. 
But that's when I understood that he's not a soccer player in, in Barcelona. He's a player of another team. Is that right? Roberto Eduardo, do you know? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not in support. And I will I would ask my husband, but he's not here right now. I cannot ask him. <laughs> okay, people. So well, uh, it's time. It's time of the true. Okay, guys. So um I would like you to share. I mean, I would like to make it volunteer, right? So who is ready to make his or her presentation? Do you did, did you do you remember the homework? Did you do it? Yes, I, got, I got my homework, teacher. <laughs> Great. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe we can number. Can, could you start, Michelle? And then Roberto Eduardo. Okay. And then Lucia could be number three. Okay. The Anna, number. number four. Ana Patricia, number four. Who wants to be number five? Roberto Carlos Cuellar, number six. Who wants to be number six? Miley, that's great. Number seven. Number seven, Daniela Magali. Awesome. Number eight. Eight. Brian. Nine. <coughs> Who said me? Number nine. Elisa. Number nine. Okay, and number 10, Francisco. So far, we are gonna have the first 10, okay? And then we continue. So let's start with Michelle. We are all ears, Michelle. Okay, teacher. Um, she was born on October 2000, 2001. Her name is Michelle Diaz. Her place, her birthday, her birth, sorry, is San Salvador. She stood, she studied at El Carmelo School until high school. Currently, she is studying English and theology. She is also learning to sing and play the piano. Her family is not that big. She tries to visit her mom and dad frequently. At this moment, she lives with her, her grandparents and Morasan. She feels very well with them. She goes to sure a lot of. She is vice president of the Youngster Group. She is really likes to be friendly, although sometimes she is serious. She is a good person. Her most important purpose in life is to know God more every day. Thank you. Please, an applause for Michelle. Applauses, please. Applauses. She did a good job. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, Michelle. So you are studying theology. Yes, teacher. Interesting. And you are living in Morazan right now. Yes. In this moment. <clears throat> okay. Um, I just had one observation in pronunciation. When you mentioned she lives, in, you said she lives, but we it's the pronunciation is lives. She lives in Morazan at the moment. Okay. Okay, she teacher. She lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, yeah. now we're going to listen to Roberto Eduardo. Okay, teacher. Um, okay, I'm going to start right now. Uh, 
once upon a time, there was a chef named Juan who was born in a small town in San Salvador. From a young age, Juan showed a great passion for cooking thanks to his grandmother who taught him the secret of Salvadorian gastronomy. After finishing high school, Juan decided to study at a culinary school in the city. During his studying, he worked in the several restaurant in the, his hometown, where he could share his love for Salvadorian cuisine with his community. Over time, Juan's restaurants became very popular and won several awards for this delicious and authentic food. In addition to his restaurant, Juan also became a mentor to many young people interested in cooking. In the future, Juan hopes to open more restaurants throughout the country and continue to inspire others to pursue their passion for Salvadorian cuisine. <laughs> this is a little story, you know, about the, the chef, you know. I invented this story. <laughs> okay. Well, the homework was to write your biography, Roberto. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, uh, but the story was good. <laughs> he's talking about, you know, uh, about a a young a young man, and uh, he tried to to do a, a he tried to to do a better life, you know, and uh, he opened. His <clears throat> restaurant and something like this you know yes Roberto okay yeah. thank you let's give an applause please it was a good story <laughs> that's also you know, I'm look Benjamin thought it was you are you a chef Roberto uh yeah I am I am a chef you know I got like a uh, 10 years I've been working for 10 years and uh, 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 a club campestre. I was there like uh, for 10 years. Now I work in, uh, I, uh, I have another job, you know, but I like well, to cook always, you know. What kind of food do you make? I mean, uh, what uh, kind uh, of food do you cook? I try to make, or I make, uh, uh, I love to make, uh, for example, uh asian cook or like a chinese cook or i like to cook uh pastas like italian food or because i, I like to to make uh a pizzas pastas i know how to do a lot of things you know but right now i don't work anymore uh, at the restaurant but I love to make food, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Roberto, that's interesting. I'm gonna ask you for the rest of the pizza recipe. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. You know, I can <laughs> give you a, a, a tips. You know. <laughs> yeah, I need some tips. Yeah. Hmm. yeah okay. Teacher. Thank you, Roberto, for sharing. Okay. Who okay. is the third okay. person? No, I am Lucy Ellen. Yes. Um, she is Lucia Elena Cepeda. She's 40 years old. She has two kids. Her name is, uh, his name is Nestor of 10 years and Josue is eight. She was born in Chalchuapa City. She's the eldest of four siblings two men and two women. Their education was in University of El Salvador. Their goals 
in the future is have a new bear job working learning English. That's all. Thank you, Lucia, for sharing information about you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And where do you live? I live in Chalchapa City. In Chalchapa, okay. Yes. And where were you born? In Chalchapa City too. Ah, okay. So you you stay in your town. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Nice, Lucia. So you study at in the National University in Santa Ana. In Santa Ana City, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Thank you, Lucia, and also for sharing about your your children, <laughs> your son. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next person, the number four is me. Anna. Okay, Anna. Okay. Um, I talking about me. My name is Ana Patricia Sanchez. I am married. My husband's name is Eduardo. Uh, he is a topographer. I have two children, Andres and Carmen. I live in Zaragoza City. I like my neighborhood because there's, there's not autobuses. I sell computers, laptops, tablets, printers, and their accessories. And in my free time, I like listen to music, watch TV, and read a good book sometimes when I have time free. Um, I like to eat Chinese food and seafood. I love seafood because I am, I born in El Puerto La Libertad. And also in my free time, I like to practice my English using the app Duolingo and I play Candy Crush when I take a little time. Only that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna, thank you for sharing also your hobby. <laughs> That's great. Um, you have nice pronunciation, Anna. And remember that when we mention the time, we say free time, free time, okay, or time off. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. So, who is the next person after Ana? Roberto? Is it Roberto? Are you next, Roberto? Yes. Uh, pro the number five. Who was yeah. the number five? Roberto okay. or my name? Roberto, Roberto, Roberto. Roberto. Okay, go Roberto. ahead. Roberto. Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Robert Charlie Cuellar. I am born in Guasapa in the permanent of the San Salvador. My birthday is May 20, 1972. Uh, I am 50 years old. My family is quite big. We are seven brothers, six sisters and five brothers. I am the last one of them all. I am Curly Mariel, and I am the father of the three daughters. The first, the first to live in Australia, and this last one in the United States. I am professional. My profession is teacher in biology and chemistry. But I am currently and the principal of the education center of the Quetzaltepeque. My goal for the future is to have my own restaurant. I love it cooking. 
any other uh, treatment. He has traveled and known Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, USA, Peru, Chile, and Australia. I am very happy with my life. Great. Okay. Claps, please. Aplaza for Ana, for Roberto. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Roberto, so you are my colleague. You are also a teacher. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Biology and chemistry. Very nice. Biology yeah. and chemistry teacher. But Thank now, you. in this moment, you are, I understand you are the principal of the school. Yes, I am principal in the center of school. Nice. Nice, very yeah. nice. It's a school of Quesaltepeque. It's Quesaltepeque, correct. Mm -hmm. the, the high school or the basic school? It is uh, the basic school. The basic school. Basic from, school. Yeah. from first basic school. to yeah. ninth grade. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so maybe one day I will look for you. I, I will ask you for a job. <laughs> okay, thank you. As an English teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Roberto, thank you for sharing. Who is thank next? You. Daniela Magali. Daniela, okay, Daniela, we are eager to hear you. Hey. Yeah. Daniela Magali was born on the seventh day of July, 1999, in San Esteban, Catarina, San Vicente, beginning the second child of the couple. She has short dark brown hair, she has a slim robe, and she has always practiced the sport. She has always been very keen and nice to be treated with this team and responsibly with his homework and help others in any way possibly. Actually, he lives in San Juan of Pico. She has and her brother had been too many teams together, both good and bad tried outing everything. They had been told together. His family is sad because his brother had a motorcycle accident and they date. At the moment she is about to finish her theory for intermediate module of English and wants to continue studying to be over to work in a call center, thinking about her future and her life project. She is already forming the she is definitely dead and while she is only has to wait for what she has planned and try to fresh her objectives. Thank you, Magali. Applauses for Magali. Thank you, Magali, for sharing. I'm so sorry for what happened to your brother, right? Was he your brother? I understood that. Who had the motorcycle accident? Yes. Okay. When was it, Daniela? Was it recently? When was the accident? In December. The last December. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's very recently. We I'm are so, so sorry for you. Yeah. I lost my father last Thank December. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, but it's good that you continue fighting for your dreams and your goals. <laughs> yeah, miss. Okay, thank you. Now it's my least turn. Go ahead, okay. Maggie. Don't be nervous. 
I am very, very nervous. Uh, I try share a screen. Me avisa si se ve, please. Uh, can you see? Okay. Um, okay. I, her name is Miley Emilia Alvarenga Vasquez, born 28 February 1989 in San Salvador. Actually, she lives in Mexicanos with her family. Uh, about her family uh, in 2007, Miley began a relationship with Eduardo Jimenez, their daughter born on 02 May 2010. Her name is Jennifer. Uh, about her education in 2007, Miley began her career in law school but in 2009, he had problems with her pregnancy. Therefore, she had to drop out of college and later she has stayed in her house taking care of her baby. In the course of her life, she took several courses about cosmetology and sublimation. She works in the pending, no sé si la pronunciación correcta, of what she has studied. Actually, she is studying English for Ken has more job opportunities. About her goals, she wants to travel to other countries, for example, USA, Nor Noruega, and other Europe countries. Only that. Yeah, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miley. Thank you. So you have only one daughter? Yes, only only one daughter. <laughs> and she's she always stays in, in class, but she is very uh -huh. <laughs> no. shy. Shy. Uh -huh. She is very, but she always is staying in, in, in English class with But her, she's with learning her. English too. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, actually, she helped me because she studied English in, on Saturday in the Ricaldone. Uh, she is, is in intermedi, inter, intermediate, 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 intermediate. English. Yes. The next model you will be in intermediate one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> she she is very very smart, and only is a, a little angry. Oh. No. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. But always she helped me. Don't be angry, Jennifer. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. Be nice with your mother. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. Okay, thank you, Maggie and Jennifer. You. You're welcome. Okay. Who goes next? I guess Miley was number six, right? Six or seven, Miley. Were you number six or seven? <laughs> Miley doesn't listen in this moment. So who is next? <laughs> Oh, it's Brian's turn. Okay, Brian. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, okay. Brian Steve Rodas is a computer system engineer born in El Salvador. Uh, in Sulutan in November 26, 1929. He is the first of two children. Uh, in 2005, he entered in Espiritu Santo School in Sulutan, where he studied for 12 years. 
in 2008, at the age of seven, uh, he began a series of student achievements. Begin this year, uh, the time in which he participated in oratory contests begin among the first three places. In 2010, he began his interest in art, entering various national emblem art contests, winning the first place at departmental level for three years in a row. After that, in 2012, he was recognized for his achievements being accepted by the Absolutan Academy of Art through a full scholarship, where he did most of this learning in drawing, composition, and painting technique for three years. In 2013, uh -huh, he expanded his knowledge in music, starting to take guitar course at the age of 12, where he received guitar lessons for about three years. In 2017, he will finish his studies as bachelor at San Agustin School in Sultan. In 2018, he was accepted in National University of El Salvador, starting his studies in computer systems in the in January, where currently he continues with his students at the university um, English class. <laughs> wow, Brian, applause for Brian. He's a very talented person. He's, a, he's very smart, as he said. He has been recognized for his art abilities, right? Yes. <laughs> Very good, Brian. Good job. Okay. Thank you. So, who goes after Brian? What? <laughs> the next person is. I don't know. Um... You were number eight, Brian? Yes. Okay, so number nine, I think it was Elisa Relí. Okay, Elisa. Good evening. Elisa Relí Lopez Campos was born on May 8, 1997 in Ciudad del Triunfo, Sultan. Her father, Juan Antonio López, he was dedicated to agriculture and her mother, Rina Isabel Campos, housewife. She has six siblings, two girls and four boys. She was one of the youngest. She started elementary education in Centro Escolar, Susana Rodríguez Vida de Duque, 2003 to 2011. Her achievement in the in that state was to obtain the second place in grace. She was passionate about soccer. I studied, I studied secondary education at the Instituto Nacional Ernesto Flores 2012 to 2014. In the same town. After finishing his study, he, he, he dedicated himself to work. His first job was in a silver, then he formed a family. His son, Stephen Arrill. Then she worked in a bakery. Sometimes life was, was difficult, but there she was constantly giving her best. She went to work in San Salvador for three years three year and her son was her motivation to keep going. 
she is currently dedicated to bakery and in the process of learning English in, in support since, it, since it is an institution dedicated for the formation of people for a better future, hoping to get a better goal. Finish. Elisa, you deserve an applause. You see, that's why I love these activities because we get to know better the students. I didn't know you were from Sultan. Okay, also Ryan, right? That's great. I like to have students from different parts of the, <coughs> of the country, sorry. I think the next is Francisco, right? Or Martin? I don't remember. <clears throat> I think it's, uh, it's me. Okay, Francisco. <clears throat> Go ahead, please. Uh, okay, uh, my name is Francisco Villafuerte. I was born in San Salvador on the day of the race. When well, you know what is the date, it's October 12th. I am the Jorges of three brothers. I study in a public school, the Negar uh, Escuela Republica de Nicaragua. Then I graduate from Cristobal Colón with a bachelor, bachelor degree. And later graduate in lay, law, lay, law, law from the University of El Salvador. I got married when I was very young and I was uh, the father of two beautiful girls. Then I got divorces. My mom is still alive and my father passed away a few years ago. She's from Santa Rosa de Lima. Uh, my dad was from Apaneca and they lived in San Salvador, my hometown that I love so much. I started working at very John G. since at the age, age of 20. I was already a father and I had to work and study. My last job was in a car accident assistant company. Um, I worked for 50 years, then I quit and became independent. I currently resident in Lourdes, Lourdes Colon alone with my dog and I work independently for insurance company in the area of fraud investigation. I have uh, the opportunity, opportunity and blessing to be able to travel to several countries and it is why I need and want to learn in the English language to be able to communicate with other people when I can travel. I consider myself a pleasant, patient, and cheerful person. <laughs> I really like the sport, especially in cycling, and I try to practice in three times a week, as well as uh, to go to the gym three or four times a week, too. I love dancing, cooking, going to the beach, and camping. I also like extreme sport a bit, so when I was young, I did several skydiving jumps alone. And um, lately, this year, I have learned to enjoy reading. So I tried to read several books years. That's right. Very nice, Francisco. And are you looking for a sweetheart? Thank you. Are you looking for a sweetheart in this moment? What? <laughs> are you looking for a sweetheart? Sweetheart? Well, um... I don't understand, excuse me, <laughs> I, I, I am nervous. <laughs> Somebody to know maybe, who knows, you can you can meet someone in the English classes. <laughs> okay. Just kidding, Francisco. Okay, yes. so yeah, nice, Francisco. So, you, so um, how old are your daughters now? Oh, my daughter is, is 27 and 25 years. Hmm. Okay, good. Thank you for sharing about your life, Francisco. Okay. And what is your yeah. dog's name? My dog's name is Rolo. It's because it's uh, the name is the, for the Vikingo series. Rolo is one of the Kingo. <laughs> uh, uh, the name is for my daughters. 
she she liked the, the king of Rolo. Uh, <laughs> the other is a Kali, and the other is a Negra. So you have three dogs. Yeah, three two 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 dogs are the uh, rescue. Mm. Yeah, it, so she, she they live here and happy. Oh, so you have a good heart, parents. Nice. <laughs> I, I try, I try. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Good. So, who is the next? Were you number 10, Francisco? Excuse me? Were you number 10? Uh, yes, I am 10. Okay, so we need to, we still have four minutes for more people. This is your opportunity. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, Yancy, nice. The electricity came back. Okay, Yancy, would you like to share your biography? Excuse me, teacher. Would you like to share your biography? No, no. Casi no, no le escucho, teacher. Your biography, la biografía, the homework. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I do. Please share okay. with the class. Okay. Her name is Elsie Patricia Martinez. She was born in Antiguo Cuscatlán, the Department of La Libertad. El, el 30 of November. 1975. She has four brothers and two daughters. Study at the Technological University in San Salvador. She has worked in the Ministry of Culture for 10 years, is director of a public library. His goal is to learn English and travel. His achievements, at the Ted, the administration of a farm owned by his best friend. And so, how how is that that you live in San Miguel? I yes yes teacher. So you are from San Salvador, but right now you are living in San Miguel. Um, no, re, se me olvidó escribir eso. <laughs> yeah, but, but why? Because of your family or because of work? Why um, you living in San Miguel? Ah, uh, um, because for Mary. Oh, okay. That's the My husband is, is here. <laughs> that changed everything, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, any other person? You still have the opportunity. Can I? Okay, Benjamin. Great. Yeah, do it. Okay. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez was born on July 28th in 2000 at 12 10 a.m. in Chalatenango's hospital, being the third child of Rosa Margarita Lopez and Pablo Antonio Quijada, being the little brother of Claudia Yvette and Carlos Antonio Quijada Lopez. During his childhood, specifically his first five years, he grew up in a familiar environment, having parents together, but it changed in 2005 when his father decided to leave the country. His father always had an alcoholic problem. Even when he was born, his father was drunk and met a little child a month later. Benjamin always felt himself as special. He always liked girlish things instead of boy things. But being a little child, he didn't even know how to name it. He used to play with his cousins and preferred to play with the girls 
in their dolls instead of playing soccer with the boys. When he was six, he started to go to the kindergarten where his social life would start. Was there where he met a light boy with wonderful eyes and straight blonded hair. The guy's name was Kevin and he became into the first crush of Benjamin. In 2007, Benjamin graduated from kindergarten and started first grade, where he met new friends. In 2008, his parents separated, but he was accustomed to live just with his mother. So it didn't affect him. He didn't even have memories with his father because he was a little child when his father left the country. His mom couldn't stand the problem that Benjamin's father had with the alcohol. He neither being in another country could stop drinking. So that's why she left him alone. Two years later, Benjamin's mother met a new man and started a new relationship. And two months later, Benjamin had a new little brother. He didn't agree about to have a stepfather, but his mom wanted him to live with them. So Benjamin left his house and went to live with his grandmother. By, by this same year, Benjamin's father arrived from the United States. Benjamin was so happy he was going to see him once more, thinking that he would be a great father. But he was surprised when he saw his father, who had been drinking in the plane. He became, he came back he didn't change. Benjamin was so sad and his father didn't do anything in order to recover his little child love. By the year 2016, Benjamin was going to graduate from ninth grade and he was a little chubby. So before graduation, he started working out and got underweight. And one day before graduation, he decided to come out of the closet and tell everybody he was gay. At the beginning of 2017, before he started high school, the boy who Benjamin loved since seventh grade, his impossible became possible. And they both started a relationship with, which lasted just two years and ended because he, the Benjamin's boyfriend cheated on him with his best friend. In high school, Benjamin got new friends and one Belizean girl who started with him became into his best friend. Benjamin also participated the two years in the music band of the high school and it is considered as one of Benjamin's personal achievements. In 2019, Benjamin started studying English technical major and became into one of the three best students. Even he obtained a diploma for having obtained one of the highest scores. In 2020, coronavirus started, classes stopped, and Benjamin's grandmother got sick. And a few months later, she died. There was when the word fell down to Benjamin, his second mother, his friend, his confident, she, she has died. And his current boyfriend acted like it didn't matter to him in another relationship ending. For Benjamin, he couldn't stand being with someone who couldn't be his support. In 2021, by July, tired about problems with his mom because of his stepfather, feels in all related to love, the death of his grandmother and personal problems, he decided to commit suicide. He got drunk, took a lot of pills with a alcohol, embraced his grandma's picture and crying said, he was going to be finally with her for all eternity. But his big brother realized and stopped him and helped him. A few months later, he started studying international cooking and in 2022, he started bakery. And at the end of the years, he and some friends of him 
made plans to have a Halloween party without knowing that he met there. His true love and the boyhood would kill him. He was the one that Benjamin loved the most in that Halloween party organized by himself. At the beginning, he had some problems and he didn't want to go to the party, but he went in as always. Benjamin stole the whole party with his participation at dancing. And there was that boy. He didn't realize him. And Benjamin even know him, but he fell in love with Benjamin when he saw him dancing. Martin looked for him in order to have contact with him and achieved it. But went out for dinner and were in love until he cheated on him. So, and for more, Benjamin's father died on December 25, I'm sorry, uh, 25th in 2022. He could be for last time with his father and give a last hug on Christmas Eve without thinking his father would die 24 hours later, he was passing the worst moments of his life and remains still being strong and trying not to get mad. He will be okay because he is strong and maybe he would not be the same, but he's continuing his life in Benjamin's book's life is still being written in Benjamin has the pencil which writes this in his hands. Okay, Benjamin, wow, you were very specific in your story. Thank you for sharing your personal, your personal life. And we are so sorry for your losses, right? Your grandmother and your father. Thanks. Well, guys, I know we got some minutes more. But I just want to tell you some uh, observations I had about your presentation. They will be very quickly. Um, for example, give me a moment. Okay. Um, some of them are just um, pronunciation things. Elsie, do you have a comment? Teacher, siempre al finalizar el curso nos tomamos una fotografía a todos. Okay, yeah, just y lo tenía que decir y yo no me he peinado, qué pereza. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, you have two minutes. Teacher. Okay. Yeah. Teacher. <laughs> Diga. Right now. You want the picture now? Ah. Yes. Just, just wait for, for a few seconds, please. <laughs> Okay, um, there. should I take it or somebody else will take it? Quien la puede tomar, porfa, y siempre hay alguien que la se ofrece a tomarla, porque yo soy, ah. no puedo. Alguien que, que utiliza computadora, porque yo estoy con yeah, el I got, I, got, o sea. I got it. Are you ready? One. No, teacher, todavía no, ¿No? ni siquiera abierto la cámara. <laughs> <laughs> ya. Just few seconds. It's tradition. And what about the others? Try to open the camera just for just for the last class. Please, everybody, open the camera. Some people, I I won't remember your face. Este pinche pelo que no me I won't remember acá. your face for some of you. Okay, five, four, three. Oh, Margarita, ahí. nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, Carla. Good. Karen Xiomara. Your camera. Look at Elsie. She has the perfect smile. <laughs> Janet Carolina. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> what about Griselda? Jacqueline? Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, one, two, three, another one. Wait a moment. Ah, 
Okay, I think, let me see if I can take it again. Um, yeah, give me a moment guys, because I couldn't make it. It's not good quality. Can somebody help me? I mean, can you make it? Maybe Brian, he's good with, with computers, I guess. Well, can, you, can you take the screenshot, Brian? Uh, okay. <laughs> One, two. But tell us, Brian. Okay. Oh, but I have different screen. Luego se manda screen. para que nos quede de recuerdo. Otra, otra. Okay, I will try now. Okay, now I could, I could. Ya, ya puedo, I, I know how to do it now, okay? So, one, two, three. Okay, guys, I got it. I will send it to you in a moment. But right now, just want to share this, okay? Um, for example, we say cuisine, decided, pursue, free time, to powder for, I was born. These you say May 20th, biology and chemistry, he died. Um, cuidar is taking care of, okay? Uh, for can, we don't use it this way, no lo usamos así, como para poder, se dice uh, to be able to, to be able to, okay? Um, and let me see what else, European, European countries recognize Brian, I, you can say this 1999, 1999, engineering, bachelor's degree, bachelor's, no es bachiller, bachelor's is a, um, a university career, okay, Licenciatura, Bachelor, exactly, bachillerato en inglés, se dice high school, okay, high, high school degree, High school degree. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, 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 I've got it. Y el otro no, se le, no le llegó, pero en vez de decir for can, se dice to be able to. Como poder hacer algo. Eh, girls, is the pronunciation girls. Alive, no alive, alive. Para decir que alguien está vivo, alive and independently. Independently. You can take a screenshot if you want or a picture for you to remember it. And well, now we have to finish the class. Jocelyn, Natalia, Mancia, good. It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, people, it was a pleasure for me to be your teacher, to be your facilitator of this course. I hope to meet you yeah, again in another course. I hope so. You are a nice group and please continue with your dedication to the classes. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you, Thank teacher. You. It was teacher. a pleasure too. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You, teacher. Yeah. I you hope were really great. You, my teacher again. <laughs> I, I would I would yeah. love to. <laughs> You've been coming to the my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Teacher, I, really... Teacher yes, I, I have something to tell you. Tell me, Roberto. Thank you very much, teacher, for you having touched, touched our, us a lot than the four. Being patient, paciencia, patient. Patience. It is, yeah. His person inspired us to continue learning this beautiful language. 
blessing on your beautiful life. Okay. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you, Roberto. I appreciate your words. <laughs> and all your words. I'm reading the messages too. Thank you, Karen and Victoria. <laughs> okay, so I hope to see you again. En español, gracias por haber sido tan linda con nosotros, ok? Y hemos aprendido mucho realmente. Y, y así, profesoras, así quisiéramos tener que nos tengan paciencia y que nos inspiren a, a aprender. ¿Verdad? Cada no, día. Que no nos durmamos a esta hora. Yeah. Y pues si vamos a hablar en gusta, español, pues sido... déjenme decir ciertas cosas. Usted a ha ver, sido bastante teacher, interactiva. Eh, ha tenido eh, cierta manera de enseñarnos a nosotros que nos ha hecho participar uh -huh. a cada uno de sí. nosotros. Y ha tenido como que esas dinámicas que nos ha hecho que nosotros estemos más activos en la clase. Y eso es algo que, que se le agradece mucho. Porque usted busca la manera en que todos participemos, que nadie se quede atrás. Y eso se le agradece mucho. O sea, tiene un don magnífico para enseñar. Yeah. Muy claro. divina. Me han encantado sus clases, la verdad. Me han encantado mucho. Y la felicito por ese don tan divino que usted tiene para enseñar. Oh, es una sí, grandiosa claro. maestra, en serio. Y la felicito también sí, porque claro. finalizamos el curso y tenerme a mí como alumno. O sea, Ay, sí. que usted termine con la cordura intacta, eso es algo sorprendente. <laughs> Not that. Um, well, guys, thank you for all your words. You you also motivate me to continue working this way, okay? Because um, I could prepare the activities and all, but if you don't participate, that makes me sad. But you did it, and I can see that you really want to learn. And I mean, that's fabulous. We feel so, the teachers feel so happy when the students really want to learn. Okay, so thank you for your words. I will continue trying to do my best, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay. You're the best. And thank you. Thank you for all your words. So I hope that you can take a good rest during this vacation and see you. I hope to see you in another model. I hope you have a great vacation too. <laughs> and thank you for your heart. <laughs> yeah. Okay, people. Good okay, night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye. 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 Okay. ok, thanks teacher, gracias por ser una excelente maestra. Ah, thank you. La vamos a extrañar mucho. Ah, we'll miss you too. Ok, teacher, <laughs> good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Love you, teacher. Me. Love you. <laughs> I don't know who was that. <laughs>